this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I thought I was ranting, and I thought I was just getting a confirmation. But now it's starting to look to me like God is fussing. He is ranting now. The reason I say that, I know when I look at Isaiah chapter 2, I know the one sentence in that whole chapter is the last one that says, cease from man whose breath is in his nostrils. Like quit tripping off of, you know, man. You know, trip off of God, not man. Now this is what God led me to, Isaiah chapter 2. But these are the verses. Blew me away when I read it. Somebody out there God is talking to, you need to take heed while you have time. God always warns before he lowers the anvil on your judgment. Listen, enter this, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 2, verses 10 through 12. Enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. I'll continue. I feel like I should continue. And upon all cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, and upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up, and upon every high tower, and upon every fenced wall, and upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all pleasant pictures, and the loftiness of man shall be brought down. And the haughtiness of men shall be made low. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. And the idols he shall utterly abolish. What is your idol? Which one of you are lofty or high and lifted up in your own mind? How many narcissists heard that verse? really heard it. Be careful of narcissism. You can be guilty of idol worship, yourself being the idol. God shall, said, I shall not have any other gods before me. Or well, we shall have no other gods before us. Only God. Only one God. Not you. Be very careful. One thing I never want to do is be found in the hands of an angry God. I do my best to stay on his good side. God is a beautiful, I mean, he is a beautiful father. He is a wonderful friend. He sticks closer than a brother. I mean, he is beautiful. We are not. Don't get it, as the kids say, don't get that twisted. Because when you get it twisted, you're on a slippery slope. Don't fall and bust your head wide open. Be very careful. Because God will not play second fiddle to you or anybody. So be very careful. I just feel like God is warning. He's really, really warning. I have heard of people who prop themselves up like they are uh, Mr. Big Stuff and Mrs. Um, uh, wonderful and, and priceless and these people are God's gift to the world. And then all of a sudden, God reaches his invisible hand and yanks the rug out from under them. And when they fall, and God even warns this in the Old Testament, 
I will let them see your dirty underwear. I will hold your skirt up in front of everybody to see and show them everything that's hidden that I already know about. I will expose you. Be careful. It's a warning. God does expose. You don't want that. Come to God, humble yourself. If you're not able to repent, ask God to give you the spirit of humility. Ask God to help you by giving you godly sorrow if you don't feel that. But don't go on business as usual because you're grown. You can do what you're big and bad enough to do. What's God going to do? He ain't done nothing all this time. He ain't doing nothing but selling whip tickets. Oh, baby, God is long-suffering, but he ain't no fool. Please be warned. Don't get this thing twisted. Humble yourself so that God does not have to bring you down. God bless you.